Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm D Gray, and today we continue our entry level to Megabase, where we have just set up a nice big patch of electric, oh, just normal engines being produced to get our chemical science up and running. So this episode will continue down the science line, trying to get a first setup, and it could be time for us to add our first labs. So let's just set up some lab production. So we at least have a bit in storage. There we are. Those will slowly be filled in. And then let's go look at a few things I want to solve. In terms of resources right now in our base, it, things are looking very good. The only thing we're really missing is, uh, is coal. And I actually want to go and try and solve that before we look at um, the next science one and wait for the labs to be crafted. But right now we have a small patch right here. Not really a fan of this kind of uh, setup. So let's try and do this. Let's tear this down because what I tried to do with this setup was to see how many beacons can touch one electric miner and what I think I should do instead, at least in terms of, uh, what's it called, a resource patch at the moment, is do how many electric miners can one beacon touch. So that's turning it around a bit, if you see the difference. And hopefully that will uh, enable us to do something a bit different. So firstly, as always, Let's get some beacons. Then we will add a little miner to it. If I can find it, let's just put it on down here so we can actually always find it. Miners. Adding those in. So if you do it right here, saying that output will be to the left. Two, three, four. Then we should have one, two, three, four. It should be able to touch four. Four. So if we add one more right here, as you can see, the beacon is now touching four miners at a time. And that's a bit more efficient in terms of um, power usage, but it will slow down the speed a bit, even though we have the same productivity. So that's what we want to try and go with. Something like this, doing some active, not oh, sorry, some passive providers and adding a small amount of power, pretty much the same way we are used to. So if you look at our old blueprints, we normally have it at the bottom side. I'm just gonna keep it the same place to keep it consistent here and here. Add in some beacons on the opposite side. Can the power reach? It can't, but no worries about that because if you add beacons here, We'll just have to remember to put these in here and there. And that way it's also optimized for the future. So the same productivity, 50%. Let's add some speed modules to show you this. There we are. And look at this go. I think this is a really good way of doing it. We're still mining one and a half times as fast with a hundred and what's called 55% but we will have a lot more resources coming out that is uh, what I want to do with this so let's just steal this blueprint have this as uh, one we can plunk down wherever we want it being our blueprinted mining build so right here into that one. Let's get the normal mining one in as well. So that means we have a beacon version of this and that means in theory we can just go in, find the blueprints right here, stamp it down right on top and pretty much get uh, what we need out of this patch. I'm also doing it because we have more than enough power so it could be fun to try and do this. Of course, right now, these are hitting four. 
the ones in the middle are hitting eights. So the bigger we make it, the more efficient it will be, because only the outer edge ones will hit the list uh, hit four, but the inside ones will always hit eight. So uh, let's just keep it as this for our uh, current setup, and hopefully it will uh, supply us with a lot of things. At least robots should build that for us. So now that that is set up and will supply us with hopefully the coal we need, well at least see if it will, then we can continue with building our next little setup. So first things first, this one is gonna be our lab one. We have marked that out. And to be honest, we can do exactly the same setup we're doing with these, just with labs. So what if we do a lab setup? Just four like this. Or oh, that might be displaced a bit. Let's get a few labs to our person. And let's clear out some of all the junk we have. Look how many inserters we have, that is insane. Have that should slowly be cleared out. Get these poles away as well. And then we can start to put down our laps that gets flown in right here. There we are. As we'll need two. So we'll have to be right here. So if you do three for now, or two, just to show how it can be built. We'll then do a request in on two. We'll of course have to add a bit of power. So I think that will do just fine. Maybe moving it down one to here. Having beacons as well, right there. Giving you productivity modules. Giving you speed. If we want speed for now, we might save it a bit for the future. But we could just try and beacon this little part. Maybe making one row, but let's just uh, set it up first. And then we'll do this. Then since things are so close, we could set it to buffer 20 in each chest. I think that could be, uh, be quite good. We will run into... Power issues powering that, is that correct? So instead of this one, we could actually just throw in a substation. I'm guessing a lot of the other builds will have problems with the beacons well, unless we just put power poles on the outside. That is one way to solve it, but a beacon is, uh, is better in terms of this. So let's try and set it up. Let's just get all the different sciences in. Right there. You can request and set you to 20. We'll probably just do it like this instead. Will probably be a bit better to do. And let's try this as our setup for the labs and see how much resources this is going to take for us. So now this is hooked up. We'll want to get some speed into these. There we are. The power is fine. Then we just kind of need to move it up into a corner. Or just keep it in the middle, expanding out. Uh, in the corner is probably the optimal solution, since that is the best way to maximize the area. So let's do this. Let's just put it in. Can do both ways, but if we do it right here, we can leave a bit of room on each side. Now let's do it here. Yeah, let's just give ourselves a bit of room to work with. No need to constrain ourselves too much when building this. So while the robots are bringing in things, Let's just set up a few more solar panels. I want to have that uh, working as well. 
So let's just put down a few more. And there we are. Can we continue out one more? We can. And continue up this way. We are at a quite big surplus in terms of resources, so uh, just getting these down is uh, is a good sink for it, and it makes sure that we are never uh, missing power. Can okay, we got one more? If we are lucky, we can right there and there. So yeah, that is looking somewhat good. We can try and see if we can connect up the areas over here. We'll need a small amount of landfill to make that possible, but we can do that for now. And then just landfill in this little, this little area here. Please get that landfilled and let's do the same over here. So that should fit in a few more things as soon as the landfill are here. Yeah, that looks good. So let's just... Whoa. Give these uh, robots something to do. So here we go. Beacons we'll need to place ourselves. Since we haven't really added... Oh, wait a minute. We probably have beacons in the wild now. Because <laughs> we removed them. That means that they'll start to get placed down somewhere else in our base. Oh, well. Yeah, it's okay. There are a few places now. That is fine. It's a bit of power. We will just have to manage it a bit. So let's hook up this. Let's expand this over to one further. And can we just get this running? So let's see if we do that. Put it down right here. I can do one more over. Something like that as a setup. The power wise, does it fit correctly then? Let's see. It does overlap a bit, but uh, I could do it there to make it look a bit nice, or we can just keep it here. At least everything is getting power, and that is what we want. Everything is having uh, modules in it. So let's try and keep it at that. This is not going because that is not really consuming anything. So uh, we'll see how much uh, power this is going to do. We could also just wait with the beacons for now. Wow, resource speed of 1000%. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So we'll just let everything get filled in before we do anything else. Yeah, I'm not gonna dismantle that. We'll just we'll just leave him. That is completely fine. So that is that science. Now for the next one. That is gonna be our production science. Production science even. Um on site crafting. Yes, please. Flying this in by air will be a mess. So can we Steel. Where's the setup? This little setup. Is that the most compact it can be? Mm, probably not. Oh, that takes up way more room than we need. We'll just have to redesign it a bit from the ground up. But we will have a lot of uh, moving things around with the with the rails because they use thirty. So that is a bit annoying. But oh well, let's place the first down, let's check it out. So, 30 rails every 21 seconds. So we'll need rails, furnaces, and productivity. One, two, three. Rail, furnaces, productivity. So, how can we line this up? This one needs one every 21 seconds. This one will produce one every 15. Of course, we can't put any 
productivity in this, but we could do in that. So we could say it's pretty much one to one. At least let's try with a one to one ratio for now. That means we can direct insert, insert it if we do it like that. But that will annoy our beacons a bit. But one to one is fine. Then the other one, electric furnaces take five seconds. So that means it's a four to one or five to one if you want to be something like that. Yeah. Everything for this is going to be flown in. Everything for this is going to be flown in. Everything for this is... We can make iron sticks on site. That might be the best solution. Into these. I'm guessing it's going to be a 2 to 1. This produces... Oh, 4 a second. And this one consumes 2 a second. So yeah, it's going to be a 2 to 1. So some kind of setup like this might work doing rail rail and sticks in the middle something like that should be an optimization for that these we don't have to worry about they'll just get flown in but then we need 30 in 21 seconds this produces four seconds so by this time this crafts one we will produce what is it 84 so we can supply a bit more than two with uh, one of these so that should be able to supply four um should we do something in terms of beaconing of this maybe the first one we can do without beacons then again, we have beacons in the rest of them. But we could just add them to um, a belt. So that will need quite a few. How many does it need a second? It needs pretty much one and a half a second. So it means one belt, or at least one full belt of yellow can support 15. So a half can support seven. Yeah, we should, we should be able to do it with belts. So let's try and get these on belts. Not sure if do one or two-sided. Probably do two-sided since the rest will get flown in by air. So let's try this first setup. Let's do it right here. We'll have these. We'll then have one belt and one chest in. So we'll need something that looks... A bit like, not that one. Where's the last time we did something? Something like the engines, maybe. Maybe something like this. These will produce the rails. Up here, the things will fly in. So what if we just steal this setup? Would that be an okay solution? I know we'll lose a few beacons, but I think this could be something that would work let's try and steal this i'm just thinking if something should mess it up i can't see what it is unless we make these on site we kind of want to so let's just start with this part then we'll figure out how many we need. Oh, let's do two of them. Then we'll figure out how many we need uh, of, uh, of the things. Let's remove our inputs for now. And let's put it down over here. Let's get our blueprint out of somewhere in here. Where did you go? Right there. Then this can be our science production. Could actually take it all and maybe just remove one of them further down. But this will be 24 of these going. 
that will need quite a bit of things, both in terms of productivity and whatnot. So that'll need, if you do it one to one, that'll need just as just as many productivity. Is that correct? That seems insane. Because that'll need two rows of productivity. So that'll be, if you look over here, two rows. And then we have the last one down here to produce rails and furnaces. So this might be a bit overkill in terms of what we want. Let's just try and give it a try. Is it, is it really that many we need? 15 a second. We can always put speed in these instead. So that could cut it down a bit. So you'll be this one. One every 21. And this produces one every 15. And if we add speed to that, that should bump it up to how much? Let's just see if we do the same ratio. You'll do that. And here are some speed modules. How fast are we producing now? One and a half. Oh, that doubles the speed. That means we can have it. Yes, yeah, so let's do two rows, one row of this, and then we can do one row of furnaces. That's overkill, but that's pretty much the gist of it. So let's try that. I think that will be a good solution. Yeah, that'll be fine. I can't see anything wrong with that. So let's just steal this. Add it into right here. Does it need... Do we have it over here? It needs at least on the bottom part. So let's just steal this yet again. Because this actually kind of goes together. Right here. But Oh, no, let's not do that. I want to do it with a blueprint. Let's see here. Let's pretty much just take all of it or take this part. Remember to remove request a chest. And then we can place it down right here. There we are. So we'll change all of these into production science. Take that, throw it up here. We'll have beacons on most of them. We'll have stack outputs. So rails on the belt, because that is something I don't want to move by a robot. Or with robots, that'll be uh, too, too much. So they'll be crafted down here. That means we can remove most of this for now, just having a belt run straight across. And these will be, oh, we probably have to go down one further. I need to make room for the rails as well. Hmm. Could also do the furnaces somewhere else. Now we'll we'll keep them together. So all of you will be productivity. That should line up something somewhat correctly. As soon as we uh, what's it called, speed module it, then we should be good in terms of uh, the ratio. Since this will go down to fifteen per second, and this will go up to or oh, half it to seven and a half. So that should that should line up. So now to do use the rest of this room. If we are doing these, let's see here, they can't take modules either. So they can take speed if you wanted to. So let's take a third of the time of one of these to produce. And we need the same amount. So we can do with a third of these. So if we're doing 12, we can actually use or make do with four of these. So if we line that up, just right here, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's the wrong place. One, two, three, four. Making you into that. 
Then we have the rest of this to make the rails. Is, are we able to put productivity in rails? Probably not. Nope. So that will leave inputs and iron sticks. We already figured out that the iron sticks will fit if we do it like that. But that will mean that one of them won't get as many beacons touching it. Mm, that we can fix by going something like that, can't we? Just saying the iron sticks in the middle. No, that, that won't work either. Let's see here, iron sticks. Can you take productivity? You can, but we might want to do something else with you. And then rails out here. So I'll be direct insertion, and that is pretty much what we want to do here, going both ways. So for a second, uses one is or two a second, so that's four a second, so that's perfect. This is gonna output and see in 21 seconds. Uh, that's gonna output 84. That's nowhere near gonna be enough for this. How? <laughs> so rails are really gonna be a limiting factor. But then again, we can't do an entire second row down here with even more of them. So if we do something like that, that's 160. F21. Oh, I was trying to look at this one. So that'll be enough for... I can't be right. Can it? Oh, this is going to be quite exciting how we fit in enough belts for this. Or not enough belts, but enough uh, rails. But we won't do any more than what we can supply by, uh, by belt. That is certain. So let's pick up all of this that's not really needed. Oh, that one is needed. But this one is not needed. So you can go away. You can go away. That can go away. And right here, just to clear it out. So that can go away. Then we just need inserts or oh, requests just on the rest, making this one work. That will supply to these. The furnaces we will supply it from right here. Four of these should be enough. We'll know soon enough at least. And then we are still at the rails. How do we manage this? Because we have. 12 here, that's 360 F21. 360 F21, that's 720 F21. So that's, let's just say, 40 a second is what we need for this to run. 40. Right now we are producing 40, that's insane. We'll, we'll never supply this much. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we, we have built it, so uh, let's just try with that. And this produces four a second. Plus speed. And this will slow down a bit. So yeah, let's just try and make an entire second row down here. Not that we can... Uh, so right here. Use beacons for all of it, but we will need the room. We can do beacons every second one. That's actually not too bad. Oh, almost every second one. So something like this will be what we can manage. Can we then fit in more is the question. We fit in one more. So right there. And this can move. I can move. More than enough. That can move 800 items a minute. So that should be enough. Yeah, but it's every 20 or 30 seconds. It'd be right on the edge. So uh, <laughs> this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be quite exciting to see if we can even make this work. 
but I kind of have to. I can't have everything moved by uh, by air, especially not all rails. There's simply too many. So now we need now we need to do the little belt thing here because we need. Yeah, we can actually just do something like. To here, will that work? Because then we can do in and out. And then we can pretty much just do it one more time from... Uh... Or then we can just run it and jump from... Can we jump from here instead? We can't, but we can jump from right here. So I think that will work. And then jump to... Somewhere. Oh, we can't jump there, sorry. I have to jump from here. Is that correct? No, from right there. We'll have to jump from here, so we have the room to there. I we can actually jump to right here and do more things. Why does it work here? Since we're jumping from... Oh, it's because we have room one further back. That's why it works. And I want to make it modular. That is quite important. So let's start in the middle. That's easier to see. Jump here to... Let's see, jump to right here. Will that work? Or we can start... Jump from here to there. From here to here, uh, we'll need to jump to there. From here to there. And from here to there. Will that work in terms of input? Can we copy this down now to make sure it fits up correctly? Somewhere like that. Because then we can do out, 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 out. Might have to stop one of these at some point, going to somewhere else. Pretty much going down and merging in somewhere else. Then we'll do... Oh, we need in as well. We need an in and an out. Haha. <laughs> Funny, funny, funny. So here, let's just set up these. They will be, that's not lining up correctly. We need that. Right here, so we'll have to jump to here. And jump from right here to there. Something like that might be the way to do it. If you moved it out one, it would probably have been a lot easier to, to manage. So shift up one, two more that way. To be honest, let's just do that. I think that'll be easier to do. So please remove all of this. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's not be hasty here, guys. We'll move this out one, and we'll move you out one as well. There we are. That should be a lot easier to, uh, to manage. Let's try this. So we'll start from right here. Pretty much skipping all of this, so you can jump from here to... Yeah. There. Yeah, now nah, look, 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 look. That'll be way easier now. That looks much better. Hopefully it will work as intended. That is always the fun part.
And up here we'll just have to move you one over as well. To here. And let's just line this one up with the one below. There we are. So now for all the inputs. Request a chest, request a chest, request a chest. In, in, in. We'll do out, out, out. Let's do out on the opposite. Let's do out here instead. And the reason for that is I want one of them to go down and merge onto the other one. If you want on both sides of the belt, that might actually be necessary. So let's just do these instead. Let's add one of you pretty much doing that just to make it look the same. I know it's a waste of a bit of resources, but just not to confuse ourselves. I think it's uh, quite important that we do that. So then we can do out, 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 out. Yeah, this goes both, both ways. We can then do in, in, in on these spots. There we are. And then we can give it a bit of power. Pretty much in every gap is uh, kind of necessary. Something like that. Because that outputs both of these, those output onto this lane. One thing I'm gonna change, let's move it down one. So it's in between instead since we have the room for it. So here. There we are. And now we just need the last little thing we need to do is make sure that we have this coming to the other side of the belt somewhere. And that could actually be right here. So you'll jump from here instead and just do that to get it on the other side of the belt. Don't know if that's necessary, but let's try. At least now it's uh, it's working like this, hopefully. So let's grab this part and this part. Of course, turn you into furnaces again. And let's try and hook this up, guys. And see if... <laughs> let's see how badly we, we made this. How much we are messing up right now. Uh, you can go down this way. It should be fine. And merch. There we are. You can go away. And I think it's about time we turn it on. So, I want you to request stone. Just give yourself 200. Because I know it's going to be used quite fast. Give yourself 100 steel or something like that. And then the rest comes from this one. That's just going to request 200 iron. But then we can do this. And then this one will be this one to here and to there. That should start all of these. And then we can pretty much just copy this setup up here. I think that'll be easier than to remake it. So let's just take this part and put it in right there. Not really necessary to do this, but we'll just get one on the opposite side. And to be honest, we get two on the opposite side. So instead of doing it right here, uh, where do we need this one? We can just look at all the belts going. We can do something else here. So we have two coming in the opposite side. I think that will be better. 
If not, we can just do a lane balancing right here. If uh, if this can output fast enough, and it looks like it can. So let's just leave it like that. That should be good. Then let's do a small lane balancing here. There we are. It's just to get to that point I did uh, the balancing of the lanes. So now they're getting that, that means we can activate this little part. Please request this. You can go with 50 is a bit overkill, but then we have a bit in storage. Shouldn't matter too much at this stage. At least if it does, we'll have to change some things around anyway. And then we'll just have to hook up. Then this one can output as soon as it gets the stone. And then we're close to having a full belt of this. And then the last two here. There, there. We'd like for you to request every single thing we want. Of course, in bigger bulks, as always. Let's get it to 100. Oh, that's too much, probably. How many is it needs every craft? Only five. So that's that should be fine. So let's just do that. So let's see if we can get some uh, some science flowing. This has turned into a somewhat long episode. So hopefully all of you are still following along. Should probably add some productivity to a lot of this. Of course I can't, so let's just add it up here right away. That's good. That fits perfectly. How's the power looking? Easy. No problem at all. So as soon as these starts to produce, we should have... Oh. I forgot to get that one, that one, and you're good. And then there's everything working as intended now. Is anything else we can give productivity? Only this one here in the middle. And yeah, I don't really want to do that at this stage of the game. So let's see if that hooks up this one. At least it should in terms of input. But of course, we will have to remember to add the input. <laughs> so request, request. Pretty much gets our some self some furnaces. We do have some stored at the base, so that is actually oh ten is way too many. Oh, ten could be good. Yeah, ten is fine. It's only once it's buffered, and then let's get ten productivity as well. That's a bit of resources. Or we could just set up. Yeah, let's let's do ten. Then we have uh, what we need to move things around. Let's take this part and put it down everywhere. And there we are. That is our first production science running. And uh, now it's going to be exciting to see how much that's going to tax our system. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot. But uh, we only time will tell. So let's just watch this run before um, before we end the episode. This is going, it's producing. We are gonna need so many red circuits after this. And we are producing quite a bit more than needed. Luckily it's insanely slow. How long does one craft take? Half speed, so it takes almost 40 seconds. So we might be able to uh, supply everything we need this way. But there, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Now it's all a game about how much did we do the ratios wrong. But uh, 
at least the rails not flown in by robots is is good enough for me. That was the main goal with this. So that's uh, that, oh, we got a fuel done. That is uh, actually means that things are getting delivered to where it should be. So that means next episode we can uh, have a look at this again, see how our science is going. At least things are starting to be delivered to uh, to these, which is always extremely nice. So uh, do comment what you think about this little setup. I'm actually extremely pleased with it. No matter if it's perfect or not, I love it, just like your children, or your children. <laughs> As you say about your children, you love them no matter how ugly they are. So let's stay with that in terms of this. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you'll give me a like and a subscribe, and then I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.